Hi guys, today on Divas Can Cook, I'm going to show you how I make my Southern Lemon Pound Cake. So if you are a lemon lover, you are going to love the light and natural lemony flavor of this one. Let's go. All right, first things first, we need butter. Lots of butter and some butter flavor shortening because that's how I get down. You guys know I love my butter flavor shortening. Then we're gonna add in some sugar to sweeten things up a bit. Just dump that right into the bowl, just like this. Then we're gonna mix this all together until everything is nice and creamy and just well combined, all right? Okay, now it's time to add in our eggs. Everything is room temperature, okay? When you're making pound cakes, make sure everything is always room temperature. I'm going to add my eggs in one at a time and I'm going to beat this stuff, okay? Beat it really good. You want to make sure that all those eggs are well incorporated, okay? So just dump them right into there and beat, beat, beat just like this right here, okay? It's looking good. Perfection. All right. Okay, Monique, enough mixing, girl. Calm it down. Really? You see, when I do these voiceovers, I just never know what's going to come up. My husband edited these videos, so I just kind of go with it. Okay, so that looks great. Now I'm going to add in my vanilla extract and some pure lemon extract, okay? You can double up on this, but I just kind of add one teaspoon of both. There's my vanilla going in. Then I'm going to add in my pure lemon extract, just like that. Go ahead and just stir that up and get everything combined and mixed up. Okay, so now we're going to move on to my buttermilk and my lemon yogurt. Uh-huh, yeah. Buttermilk is going to make this um, pound cake so moist and just the bomb. You guys know, I always got to put buttermilk in my cakes. And now I have some lemon yogurt. You can use sour cream, but why? Hello? Why? Well, you can use lemon yogurt. Just kind of layer on that lemon flavor. We're not going to put any puddings. We're not going to put any jello. We don't need that, okay? We don't need one a nice, light, fresh lemon taste. That's all we need. All right, now I'm going to zest me some lemons, okay? Just kind of like zest them right over your bowl. I usually zest about two lemons. You can add in more, but just be careful. You don't want to have too much zest. It's going to give it that weird taste, you know? We don't want that weirdy kind of lemon taste to it. So, yeah, now I'm going to add in the juice of some lemons. There's Isaac helping me out. Oh, he was two years old when I started doing some cookie, guys. Two years old. Now look at him. They're growing up too fast. Okay, so that looks great. I'm going to go ahead and just stir this up and get it all combined just like that. That looks great. It was smelling so good. Mm, 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 mm. And now I'm going to add some baking powder and some salt into my little flour mixture. And then I'm going to just add my flour mixture into my wet mixture gradually. This cake is like really, really easy. It's so easy. All pound cakes. So that's why I like making them so much. They're just easy recipes. I just love it. Okay, that looks great, just like that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add in the last bit. Make sure you really, really mix it good, okay? Put that air in that makes it nice and fluffy. There's Ethan. You know, wherever mama is, that's where the kids want to be. Crazy, but I love it. Okay, so I'm gonna mix this on up, and that's looking good. Beautiful whip, fluffy batter, yes. Now if you wanna add in some yellow food coloring, go ahead. Most people like to have that deep, that deep, dark yellow, you know, color with lemon cakes. I really don't care unless I'm making it for somebody, then I'll put in some food coloring. But really, if it's just for us at the house, I really don't even add food coloring. I don't care about having a deep yellow cake, really. Okay, so I have grease and flour in my bun pan. I'm going to go ahead and just add my batter into my pan, give it a little shake to get everything all evened out. And if your man's in the kitchen, look over your shoulder and be like, hey, boo. You know, do a little booty action for him. Men love that. Okay, bake 325 for one hour and 25 minutes. And when it comes out of the oven, let it cool in the pan until the pan is warm and then go ahead and flip it on out. Now, while this cake is warm, we're going to add our lemon simple syrup. Just lemon, sugar, and water. Very easy. But you can find the full recipe on my blog, divasandcooks.com. Now, this part is so boring. Oh, my God. I was so bored. We're going to brush this little simple syrup over our cake, okay? Just like that. Make sure you go nice and slow. We want it to soak into the cake. And then go ahead and drizzle on some lemon glaze. And really, you guys, that is it. The easiest lemon pound cake ever. Seriously. So easy. All right, now here comes my favorite part. Oh my gosh, that texture, texture, you guys, get it? Watch it, texture, texture all day. It's like velvet. I love a velvety, soft pound cake. I live for those kind of cakes, all right? But that is it, you guys. I like to put on some cream, a little bit of lemon zest, and I'm good to go, okay? Yes, the bomb lemon cake. Let me tell you guys, I told myself, Monique, whenever you go record the end part, do not eat the whole cake. Just show the people the inside and just stop. And I'd be dog on if I didn't sit here and eat this whole dog on cake. Oh my gosh, you guys, I like have no self-control, but you know, Oh well, whatever. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I have new videos coming every Thursday and Sunday at 8 o'clock. On Sunday, I have this bomb crock pot macaroni and cheese coming up. So stay tuned for that. Later.